Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good, good evening, evening, teacher. Good evening, Merlin. Good evening, Fernando. Good evening, Jancy. Daniel is a listener. Uh, good evening, Norma. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Okay, so ready? Are you ready for a new journey? A new experience? How's everything? Uh, yeah, ready. okay. Yes, ready. Okay, now let me see. People were at least it's just getting connected. Mm, let us wait a little bit. So let, let me know is something that you have studied about the English people. What have you learned lately in English? A new expression, maybe a, a famous quote, uh, maybe a, a story that you learn in English, or maybe a song, the lyrics of a song. I I, I think it would be really nice if you if you uh, wanted to share it with everybody here. Like I don't know. What's new? What have you learned lately, people? So Veralis got into the class. Good to see you here, Veralis. Uh, and also Veronice. Hi, good evening. Hello, hello. Hope everything's all right. And now I hope that you are gonna do your best as always, people. Okay, let me see now. I can see Daniel will be as a listener and only Daniel, right? So that means that everybody will participate. Have uh, eight people and I think it's time to start. Okay, we'll check list attendance. Aiden, Belen, Daniel, I know Daniel is a listener tonight, just, just right now, right? Edgar, Gladys, Jonathan, Gladys is there, very good, Jonathan, Jose Daniel, Juan Fernando. Present teacher. Okay, Maria Elba. Mario Cristobal. Berenice. Present. Okay, Merlin. Present teacher. Okay, Michael. Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Ronan. Teresa. Vera Liz. Present. And Jansi. Present. Good. Okay, now let us, let us, I think everybody will get connected. So meanwhile, they just get into the class. We're going to have some review about what we studied yesterday, okay? So, well, the exam, you know, eight. Today is session number, let me see, I will, I will remember. This is session number, okay, yesterday was session number 17. Yes. To, today is session number 18. <laughs> so that means we're missing only two days. How to use get and how to use go. And to talk about business travel. And that's it. Wow, yes. this, this course being, uh, I mean, I have, I, I think it's been uh, pretty fast. It seems as if we started the last week, right? 
Chimes just passes by too fast. Okay. Siento como que si hace una semana comenzamos. Y ya prácticamente vamos al, a la sesión 17. Ah, no, 18, ¿verdad? How to use imperatives. Okay, so. Well, let us see. Yesterday we talked about how to use we going to. And in the practice, we saw or we have some review about the way we create positive statements, negative statements, questions, double H question, uh, we'll be going to, etc. And over here, we have this expression. He, his friend, to fun. Uh -huh. We need to complete the sentences using the form of the verb to be. Plus the very in brackets. In this case, it's fun. So he is going to fun his. He's friend. going to fun his friend. Excellent. Period. Right. Number two, we a new computer game to play. We are going to play. We're going to play. We are going to play a new computer game. A new computer game period all right so that's it the next one is my sister tv to watch my sister is going to watch tv my sister is going to watch tv all right Number four, you a picnic next Tuesday. You You're, you are going to have you a are picnic next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Going to have a picnic next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Good. Uh, Jane. Jane, Jane to the is, office to go. Jane is going to go to the office. Jane is going to go to the office. To go to the office, right? To the office and the period. Okay, let's see if we have it. If we have all the answers in the right way. We're gonna share, I will share the answers. Okay, so I think the majority are all right. Let me see the chat, there's somebody here. Uh, Jonathan is saying hello to everyone. Good evening, Jonathan. Okay, so he's going to phone to his friend. We are going to play. We're gonna play. Well, actually, this was, was not necessary, right? And I typed everything. A new computer game. And my sister is going to watch. Okay, you are going to have. Jane is going to go. All right, so we don't, we don't have any trouble. Okay, so something that I want you to notice also is about the way people say like going to, there are some people who say gone. I don't know if you have heard that. Have you ever heard this expression like gonna or wanna? Yes or no? Everalise. Oh, wow. I really Everalise. Okay, something that you need to keep in mind, people. Algo que tienen que tomar en cuenta en el, respecto a lo que hemos estado haciendo acá es que 
cada símbolo, digamos, importa. Si acá, por ejemplo, dice chain, y si lo ponemos con minúsculas, no lo va a tomar en cuenta. Si no tiene un punto que necesita, no lo va a tomar en cuenta. Si nos equivocamos con la, el deletreo, no lo va a tomar en cuenta. Algunas veces, va, por ejemplo, acá se puede hacer contractado, pero algunas veces si, no, si, si, si la plataforma no lo agarra contractado es porque nos quiere, no, quiere que lo hagamos de la, de la manera eh, contraria o viceversa. Entonces hay que, hay que jugar con eso hasta que no te la respuesta correcta. Ok, so gonna and wanna, right? So gonna is it's very informal, people. Cuando ustedes escuchan hablar a alguien decir, hey, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Are you wanna go? Okay, it's because they are using like very informal language, right? It's very informal to say gonna and wanna. Sin embargo, pues mucha gente lo utiliza. Eh, muchas personas lo utilizan. Así que pues es otra opción que ustedes tienen. Eh, pero especialmente lo usan cuando están con alguien con un amigo o alguien que, que pues ya tienen confianza con él o con él. So, eh, well, we have, that, that was everything about uh, be going to. And now here we're gonna, what is the topic for tonight, people? It's imperative. Imperatives, right? So how to use imperatives. We studied this in, uh, in the previous uh, levels of English. And we learned a lot, right? So, however, however, I investigated and, and, I, and I got a couple of links so that we can like have some review about it and also start uh, to create new, new expressions, new ideas, new conversation. Okay, so rebuild our, our understanding about imperatives. So this is a topic. We're gonna go to the the the, the information that the PDF um, provides. But before going to the topic itself, you know, over here we have. Do you have some extra information about the way to use be going to? And so right, okay, it's okay. When are you gonna arrive to Dallas? Hey, can somebody read this? ¿Cómo les quedó esta? Siempre con going to people. No vamos a entrar todavía el tema. How do you, how do you, how do you order these ones? Are a new reservation that you going to for conference room make? What is the sentence? What is the sentence, people? Now we'll ask somebody directly. Uh, Aaron? Or I don't know if there is anybody else who, who got it. Okay, Ada, tell me the way to create the sentence with that information. Anybody? Tell me. Mm. Uh, are you are you going to to arrive? Uh, ah no, it's just a went. No, correct. Now listen, this is because it says to create sentences and questions, right? Not only questions, and also about schedule activities. So when are you going to to arrive to Dallas? Now, the number two is are a reservation that you're going to for conference room make. That's the way you got it. Are you, you going to make a reservation for the conference room? All right, you're gonna, are you gonna? Make Are a you going to make, make a reservation for the conference room? Okay, for if it makes sense, room. right? So that's a question, right? right? 
But it may be a sentence, a positive sentence, right? You are going to, yes, because we don't have any, we don't have any, any, any question mark, right? So it seems as if it is, it is not a question. Okay, you are going to make a reservation for the conference room, period. Number three, how do you solve it? For wake up call, I'm uh, going to 5 a.m. request. I'm I'm going to make up I'm going to yeah you said it well right I'm going to I'm going to what to make up call to wake up call now you know the verse, the, the meaning of this verb, Fernando. Ah yes. Please. Yeah. Okay. So let us try to rebuild the sentence, please. I'm going to request. I'm going to request. For. But what are you going to request? What are you going to request? Five uh, a.m. No, but what? What are you going to request? Is wake up call, call. I wake, wake up, up call, right? So I'm going to request a wake up call. Or, or fire. Okay. No, I'm going to okay. I'm going to request a wake up call. A request for a wake up call. Yes. At 5 a.m. Okay. Now, number four, going to tomorrow check out is Miss Turcios. Miss Turcios. Miss Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. Is going to check out tomorrow. That was very simple, right? Number five, on conference, going to a maintenance team in a 10 or oh, is a 10 to the October 10th. Okay, okay. Okay, people, do you have number five? Mm -hmm. Maintenance team is going to attend a conference the October 10th. Attend the conference on October the 10th. Very good, Fernando. Number six, non smoking room, Miss Diaz, I need is going to. Miss Diaz is going to uh, the smoking room. Is going no. to. It's going to. Yes, yeah, going to what? It's going to need. It's going to need. It's going to need. Uh -huh. right? Non-smoking room. A non-smoking room. Pretty good. Now, well, actually, this was everything related to to that previous topic. Okay. Now you are supposed, or you are in charge of recording a conversation uh, by phone and share it with two classmates in the WhatsApp group, but that will be later, don't worry. Well, and now, yes, we got into the topic for tonight. Okay, so we have some review about what happened yesterday. Uh, I don't know, but uh, last time we were talking a lot about different prepositions. Okay, prepositions of place, location, and we're gonna see them again. 
So, how do I get, or how can I get to the deli? Or how can I get to the supermarket from your home? Can you tell me that? How can I get to the supermarket from your home? Very difficult. Hey, how can I get, how can I get to the supermarket from your home? ¿Cómo puedo llegar al, al supermercado partiendo de su casa? Can somebody tell me? Uh, this, my supermarket this... is uh, <laughs> uh, next to the, the home. <laughs> okay, now think about it. Piensen y trabajen en eso tres minutos, tres, cuatro minutos les voy a dar. Y ya luego todos me van a decir más o menos cómo llegar al supermercado partiendo de su casa. Cuatro minutos, ¿ok? Pueden usar el internet, eh, cualquier pestaña que ustedes consideren les va a ayudar, háganlo. Ok, cuatro minutos y de ahí voy a preguntarles a todos. Be ready to participate. All right, now I think now you got it, right? Now, did you get it? How can I get to, 
to the supermarket from your home? Yes, sir. Fernando, go ahead. Okay. I have to, to take Avenue A. And so for 600 meters to continuous on the wheelboard Avenue S for 20 meters on the left and the rich supermarket. Okay, excellent, Fernando. You got it pretty fast, right? Now, anybody yeah. else? Okay, Michael. I can, I can try it. Yeah, my, okay, Michael, after Michael, Daniel. I can, I can try to give a direction. Good. <laughs> uh, first, I take a walk and... I take the bus for 30 minutes and after I I get off and I walk for for five blocks and the supermarket is in front of the, the pharmacy. And that's it. Thank you, Michael. Very well explained. Thank you. Daniel. Hello. Hello. And go ahead for four blocks and on the right is the supermarket. Is before to before to traffic light. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Very good. And who who? I can check. Okay, Aníbal, go ahead, Aníbal. <laughs> ah, excuse well, me. Excuse uh -huh. me, how do I get to the supermarket? Uh, go, go straight. You're almost there. <laughs> Only pretty, pretty good, Aníbal. Okay, so very sure, but you also created a, a conversation. Thank you very much. Berenice, how do we get to the supermarket from your home? Well, uh, I leave my house and I turn to the right. I walk one block and I took it to highway in approximately 10 minutes. I am at the shopping center and where is the supermarket is? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, you, are, you are just struggling to, to get the directions, right? To keep the relations <laughs> thing. Yeah, especially <laughs> when, when you don't live that near, right? Yeah, I, I wasn't. It's, it's really near. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's let's see. Well, Edgar is a listener. Gladys, what about you? After Gladys, Jonathan. Okay, how do we get to the supermarket from your home? Okay. Um, um. <laughs> we are all ears. I do you see um bread um uh meat. <laughs> Mm. Uh, no sé, cornflakes. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. Yeah. Jonathan okay. Yeah, one question: Do you do you have a dinner? Dinner. Yeah. Did, yes. Did, uh, okay, because you are thinking too much about food tonight. Yeah. Um. Soap también. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but li listen to my question, uh, Jonathan. Okay, okay. How do we get to the supermarket from your home? Oh. Um... That's why I told you, right, that you were thinking too much about pizza and, uh, and meat and I don't know. Uh, but, but actually, that's the question, okay? 
<laughs> he have hungry teacher. Yeah, he's hungry. Joshua is hungry tonight. Starving teacher, starving. Yeah, he's starving. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. Okay. Now, do, do you need some more, some time to think about the answer, Jonathan? Um, no, es que, bueno, realmente no he estado al día. Lo siento, estoy un poco distraído, podría decir, porque tengo ah. bastante trabajo y estoy okay. también ayudando a mi papá a subir notas, entonces, oh. estos días. Ok, sí, Jonathan. Sí, pero, pero estoy escuchando, al menos, por ahí. Ya, yeah, ok, Jonathan. Tuve inconvenientes el viernes porque me quedé sin teléfono. Entonces, hoy me hice de uno nuevo y estoy en eso. Ah, ok, pretty good. A new brand cell phone. Está estrenando yes. un teléfono. Good. Uh, bienvenido, Pero, Jonathan. Este, no, we are talking about Jonathan. If you see over here, we're gonna we're gonna talk about we're gonna see some information about maps. Okay, about uh, asking and giving directions. Okay. I remember we started this in basic one or basic two, but this is the second time we're gonna see it. Uh, well, are you good at giving directions to get places? Uh, para llegar a, uh, to the supermarket. Supermarket. Yeah, from your home. Um, recordándolos. Uh, porque eso... Next to, ah, ok, ya, 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 me estoy recordando nuevamente. Ok, Jonathan. Yeah. Ok, now, um, lady, keep, keep, ok, keep focused yeah, on, yeah. on the topic, ok? Now is giving directions in English, right? And yes, uh, as you right. remember, we have like some prepositions I told you uh, before, ok? And you're going to tell me how to pronounce this. Um, the supermarket is far, far away. <laughs> uh, it is far away. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, can you see the this this expression? Mm, around the corner. Next to. Next to Next the to. other one. Around the corner. Uh, around the corner. The other one. In, In front, front of. of in front of the other one on the right, the right. on the right the Be other it, one between. between between the other one on the left on the left the other one the across the street. street across the street the other one down, down the street down the street okay so let me see it's because i think no we do not have more but I think it's been enough, right? So later we're gonna get back. Okay, this this helps me to introduce the topic. El PDF casi que siempre me ayuda a introducir el tema. Okay, so let us continue. Okay, there are some expressions that we can learn in order to uh, provide a precise way to get somewhere. Okay or to provide a good idea about a place, uh, about where a place is located, right? So look at the following expressions that will help you to express how to get to any place. Now, what about this? How do you say this, people? How do you say this? This one? This one. Go ahead. Ahí estoy viendo a ver si se recuerdan. Medio lo voy a tocar para que no. Y todavía no le voy a compartir el enlace. Oye. Ajá. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead, teacher. No, um, Ajá. Goes, try ahead. Ah, now you got it. Right? Go straight ahead. Go I straight remember. Ahead. Uh -huh. Go straight ahead. Uh -huh. Can Go you repeat it? Go straight ahead. 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 Ok, apréndanse lo que ya lo van a ocupar. Ya van a ver la actividad. Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. 
Now, and look at the, look at the meaning, right? Figo derecho. Yeah, now. <laughs> what about this one? Turn, Turn left. Turn left. Turn to the left. <laughs> derecho. Turn left. Okay. <laughs> Turn left. Turn left. Si pone el puntero en la imagen se ve el nombre. <laughs> bueno, por eso que puede... medio tocadito le doy para que a Turn ver si left. se acuerda, ¿ok? Turn right. Turn ah. right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Ajá. <laughs> down, um, go down, 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 go down the street, <laughs> go down the street, go down, the street. go down the street, okay, go down the street. I'm sorry, but the lady is sleepy, okay, that's go why she speaks that way, street. okay. Ah, so if that is good town, what about this one? <laughs> Go up the street. What? What the street? <laughs> Go. Go up. Ah uh, no. Go, Go up, up the street. Go up the street. Go up the street. Hey, what happened to the lady? She slept. She got slept. Okay. What about this one? Maybe did you don't know this one, but. Take a look at it. Um, to walk across no, no. the street. Uh, across the street. 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 <laughs> Remember across that the, the, the expressions are for you street. to provide direction, for you to give direction, right? <clears throat> Let's see if we have some more here. We have some dialogues. Okay. Now, how do you say these people? How do you say this? You are located over here, right? You are located over here. Over here, we have Michael. Michael is over here. And Michael wants to go with his car to this place. Uh -huh. How do you say so? Go straight ahead and turn left. Um, uh, okay. Um, and turn uh, left, eh? Um, um, the laundry is near to arcade. The laundry is near to the arcade or to the video games. Um, I don't know if it is a store, right? Okay, let us listen to it. Let us see if we get it. So you will tell me yes. which one is, okay? How do I get to, to the subway one. station? Is that one? Go down this street until the traffic light. That is the one. You will find it on your right. Is that the one? Is this the one we have here? No. 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 Okay. So listen. No. Listen to number two. Tell me what it is. Excuse me. How do I get to the Museum of Modern Art? Well, if you cross the street, you'll find it there. No. Yes. Right. No. No, no, it was not that one. Number three. Excuse me, I'm lost. I need to get to the city hall. Don't worry, go up the street. It's in the middle of the block. No. That, that, no? no. Number four. I'm sorry, I'm new in town. How do I get to the nearest craft market? Well, no. turn no. right at the park. You will pass a theater and then you'll see it immediately. So we are missing only one, right? So that's number five. If it is not this one, I'm sorry. Hey, Tony, I have to wash my clothes. Is there a laundromat near here? Sure. It's on Oak Street. How do I get okay. there? Just turn left at the parking lot. The laundromat is next to the arcade. Is that Next one? Yes. Is, is, that the, is it this number five is the correct then? Yes. And let me see. I think it, we need to copy the info and paste it there. So this uh, dialogue number five, right? Okay. So what about this one? How do you how do you provide direction with this one? 
what would you say? Now, Fernando is over here and he wants to get somewhere. What is the direction that he, is, he was given? ¿Qué, cómo, ¿Cuál fue la indicación que le dieron? Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Only that? And locate in center of the location. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are going to tell me okay, number five is gone, right? Solo yes. tenemos del uno la, a la cuatro. I'm sorry. I'm new in town. How do I get to the nearest craft market? Well, mm -hmm. turn right no. at the park. No, right? You will pass a no. theater. Number and three. And then you'll see it immediately. Uh, let's see, number three. Excuse me, I'm lost. I need to get to the city hall. Don't worry. Go up wow. the street. It's in the middle of the block. No. No. Um, <laughs> yes. No. Yes. What yeah. number was that one? Go well, ahead, medium block. Now, listen once again. Excuse see. me. I'm lost. I need to get to the city hall. Don't worry. Go up the street. It's in the middle of the block. Is that the correct one? Yeah. Number yes. three. Number three. Okay, so it's number, number three. Okay, number three needs to be there. It's a middle. It's at the middle of the block. Now, what do you see over here? And what would you say? It's number oh. four. No, but I mean, pro provide directions. Don't tell me number one. No. Go down the street. Go down the street. And it's a corner from the movie high. <laughs> Next train to the train. Train station. Next to, Next to the train station. Okay, we're going to listen to somebody said that's number one, right? Yeah. Fernando, I think you said this is... How do I get to the subway station? Go down this street until the traffic light. You will find it on your right. Uh-huh. Now you got it, right? Number? Yes. <laughs> number two. One. Number one. one. Right, so number one. Number one. Parece un equipo de sonido, no parece un subway. All right, so number one. Okay, now, uh huh. What about this one? What's uh, what would you say to a person that's lost and wanted to get there? Um, go straight ahead. ahead, turn right, right. Um, <laughs> next to the and next to theater. Next to the thing, yeah, but I mean, let us start from here. Comencemos desde, comenz, comencemos desde acá, pues, como. Okay. Directions. Ajá. Uh -huh. And. Right. To the right. Okay. Go up the street, go down the street. Go straight ahead. Wait, we will see the one that the people used here. Okay, number, let's see the number. So number one was already taken. Number two, we're missing number two. Excuse right? me, how do I get to the Museum of Modern Art? Well, if you cross the street, you'll find it there. Mm, no. No. Number two is not the correct one. Number three. Excuse me, I'm lost. I need to get to the city hall. Don't no. worry, mm. go up no. the street. No, that, that was already taken, right? Number four, let's see number um, four. I'm sorry, um, I'm new in town. How do I get to the nearest craft market? Yes. Well, turn yes. right at the park. You will pass a theater. And then you'll see it immediately. Uh huh. Mm. This is the correct one. 
Maybe, yeah. maybe. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what, what number? Number four. Yes. Sorry. I'm new in town. Next to the park. How do I get to the nearest craft market? Uh, the craft market. Well, turn right at the park. You will pass a theater and then you'll see it immediately. Uh, you'll I see it, it immediately, right? Yes. And I think this is the last one. We're going to stop on here because we have a lot, right? Hey, what's going on with this one? Number two. Number two? Yeah, but how would you say this? Um, across the, the street. It's across, across the street. The street. Okay. okay, number four. What's the one that's missing? Number two. Number two's missing then. Excuse me. How do I get to the Museum of Modern Art? Well, if you cross the street, you'll find it there. Simple, right? <laughs> if you cross the street, you'll find it there. So number two, Why and we're done with it, right? Why number two, and we're done with it. Wow, actually, those are the answers, people. So <laughs> providing like very simple uh, directions we can help somebody right so let me see if it is possible to check the answers okay dialogue two dialogue two all right dialogue four number four dialogue, dialogue one number one dialogue three option number three Dialogue five. Wow, we did it, right? We did it, people. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna move on because we have some other information on here. Oops, I didn't want to show this. Okay, let me see. Oh no. Well, this is gonna wait for a while. I will stop sharing. That is gonna wait for a while. But since the topic that we are presenting or that we are studying this, I mean, tonight is imperatives, we're gonna see some info, okay? So, you know, imperatives are expressions that we use to provide um, directions, in this case, directions, okay? And, um, you know, when we listen to uh, the expression um, imperative, you need to be aware that imperative and command are the same. That's an imperative, that's a command, right? It used to give, it's used to give a command or order, right? That's an imperative. An imperative normally misses a subject, okay? You, we don't say you clean the house. You uh, delete the information. You open your book. You, no, I mean, you say open your book. Please open your book. Okay, now the verb is identical to, to a second person and the present tense form without endings of any kind. With the negative imperatives, the, the auxiliary do is used as in don't drink water. Don't drink water. There are no difference. There are no different things from in imperative of imperative. So we're gonna go over the next part. Now, imperatives are expressions that can help us to give an advice or a piece of advice, provide instructions for invitations, for order, for requests, for offers, for warnings, uh, for uh, giving directions, for having informal requests or give suggestions. Okay, so we have 
different, different uh, ways to use it. Okay, now affirmative without to. Mm -hmm. Do not, done. Infinity yeah. without to. Now open your book, be quiet. Do not open your book, do not be quiet. Contract it, don't open your book, mm -hmm. don't be quiet. Okay, simple like that, affirmative form. Do not. Done. Now, uh, some other ways we can use the, the root form of the verb to create imperatives. Eat a balanced diet. You see, eat a balanced diet. That's an imperative, right? Give me that book. Clean your room. Don't touch that. The word you usually does not appear before the imperative pair. The reader or listener understands that you is implied. It is not said or written, but it is understood. Okay? Yes. Now, you can use please to be more polite and don't make so much noise. Please. Do not make so much noise. Please. Now, next one. There are some exercises over here because, you know, uh, this is very simple, right? And over here, let me see if, you, if you, I can see it. Word, you yeah. Say? You are in church of rewriting. Okay. You know, the very right. Yeah. Yeah. The following sentences are imperative. Know that the sentences are given in a variety of sentences. Example. We are trying to organize these files. What's the imperative? Or what is the command? Try to organize these files. Number one, my sister came home early. We are trying to. Came home here early. No. Uh -huh. um, you need to create an imperative. Come home early, my sister. Okay. Hey, sister, come home early, right? So that you are giving or you are um, using the comment. That means we stay home from work. Wow. All right. <laughs> so we have a lot over here, right? So. Mm -hmm. Let, let us try with five of them, please. My sister came home early. Sister. Or you say, come home early. Come home early. So actually, this will be like... Men uh, will, will stay home for work. Yeah, over here you will say, come home early, right? Solo con poner así en forma base, come home early. Ya solo eso es un comment. Sorry for my reading. I'm not a doctor, but you know, I hope you understand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm not a doctor, but I'm trying to do my best over here. That's I mean nothing. Yeah. It's a doctor, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, I would choose another one. No, it's because the only thing that you need to do here is like, hoy aquí está, miren el imperativo. Solo que está en pasado. Entonces acá hay que ponerlo en, en forma base. Come home early. 
Merlin? Will stay. Hey, stay home from work. Home from ah, work. Ah, okay. So, aquí stay está el otro. Home from stay work. home from work. No. What about number three? Listen to this. Listen to Listen this new to CD. This. Pero aquí está en pasado. Hay que ponerlo en, en forma base, okay? Yes. Listen. Mary Listen. has sunk in a, in a car. You have it right here. So, Solo hay que cambiarle el tiempo. In, al in verbo. Sink in a car. Sink in a car. Sí. Now, mm -hmm. let's go over the next. Uh, let's see. Our wrong neighbors. What about this one? He borrowed a long mower from the neighbors. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahí para tener el... el Move from the neighbor? ¿Ah? Move from the neighbor? Mm, not really. Borrow a low hour from. Borrow. Sorry? Borrow. Ah, entonces borramos eso. Borrow y le quitamos la ED. Without, without, ¿no? Yeah, Eating. without ED at the end. Borrow a long mower from the neighbors. To water the vegetable garden and the flowers. Miren, hay que quitarle eso. You were. What are the table yeah. No one what? believe me. Como, como solucionan este? Number seven. No one. Um, no one. No one believe me. Um, believe me. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you only need to... Without D. Yeah, without the D, and you forget about no. this, right? Believe, believe me. me. Hey, believe oh, me. Lawnmower from the neighbors. Okay, look at the next. Look at the next. Oops. Here we are. So water the, the you water the vegetable garden and the flowers. You were you water the vegetable garden and the flowers. Without you. Without you, water the vegetable garden and the flower. Good. No one believe me. Believe me. Believe me, right? Believe me. Believe. Believe me. We are quiet. Quiet. Es un poquito más tranquilita. No. Un poquito más. Son tricky. We are quiet. Quiet. Why no. you? Be quiet. Ah, um, so be quiet, right? Mm -hmm. Be quiet. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. Be quiet. Number nine, I went to the movies with friends. I went to, went to the movies. Go. Uh, yeah, that's that's a problem, the right? Because they strength. are in the past. So over here, you you forget about. I went and they say go to the go movies to with the friends. Movie. Number ten, we're almost done. We have had a hamburger with fries. Have a hamburger with friends. Price. Have okay, so you forget about this, you forget about this, and then you start by having have. it. 
in the base form, right? Have, have a hamburger with fries. Good. So any questions about it? Stay hungry. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Be hungry. Be hungry. Okay. Be hungry. Yeah. Be hungry. Okay, so I think this was very meaningful. So, but there is an, an exercise over here that I consider it's quite important for you to put it into practice. I will stop sharing and I will um, look for the info that you're gonna use tonight. Just give me a second, please. Mm. Well, let me see. I would, I, it's very if I stop in here. So, well, uh, uh, that's a, a really nice activity, people. What are you going to do now? Vale. Van a hacer un pequeño mapa de su vecindario. Ok. Nos van a contar acerca de qué es lo que podemos encontrar ahí y cómo podemos llegar ahí partiendo desde su casa. Ok. Neighborhood. Neighborhood or city. I think if you, wanna, if you want to use uh, like the topic that's uh, my city, I, th I think it's better, right? Es mejor si ocupan el tema My City, My City. Y empiezan como a hacer un pequeño, pequeño mapa de algunas cosas que nos van a presentar. ¿Ok? How long are you going to take this activity? Well, I, I'm, I was thinking about having 5, 10, 15 minutes. 15 minutos para esta actividad. Crear un pequeño mapa de la ciudad donde ustedes viven. Y ya luego presentarnos cómo llegar a ciertos lugares desde, partiendo desde, el, desde donde ustedes viven. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear, people? Ok. Ok. So, here we go, 15 minutes. 15 minutos y luego regresamos. Jonathan. Hola. Uh, ok. Is yeah, everything yeah. clear? Yes. Okay, so you have 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, I will try everybody participates.
You can start by, by introducing your neighborhood and after introducing your neighborhood, you can talk a little bit about the city just to provide some ideas, okay?
Let me know when you finish, okay? Let me know when you finish. Okay, I think time's been enough. Did you finish? Are you done? Cristobal? Who finished, people? Aiden? Finishes. Excellent. Okay, let us know about it, please, Aiden. Okay. After Aiden, Aníbal, okay? So be ready. Yeah, my city. Two blocks from my house, you can find many places that sell delicious Mexican food, tortas, tacos, hamburger, as well as delicious pupusas. Our hour is extended until after midnight to get there from west to east, coming from San Martin to why first entrance to Altavista. Finish teacher. <laughs> Great. Okay. Good. Thank you. Now, thank you very much. Now, I said Cristobal, right? Or Aníbal. Aníbal, go ahead. Okay, Aníbal. After Aníbal, let's see. Veranice. Oh. 
Aníbal dice que no está listo todavía. Not ready? Aníbal said that. Yeah, Aníbal said it. I'm okay. sorry? Yeah, it's your turn. Yeah. Well, where I live, I have a park near the city end of my block and a soccer fight where I cross to the street and I go straight and then I cross to the left. There is a runabout and a church in front of a pharmacy and the next to my favorite a bakery. A bakery, right? So in yeah. order to have some coffee, yeah, and to talk a little bit with friends. Good. Thank you, Berenice. Now then we're gonna listen to Daniel, and after Daniel, Ed, oh no, Edgar is listening. After Daniel, we're gonna listen to Gladys, and after Gladys, Jonathan. Okay. <clears throat> I live in Mexicanos. Last week were the patron saint festivities in Mexicanos. Uh, I live in First East Street between Pollo Pinolito y Casa del Pamper. In Casa del Pamper. The city hall is near to my house. Uh, go down the street and at the corner cross the street uh, and to turn right solamente all right thank you daniel thank you daniel okay So Gladys. Jonathan, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I live in Wagotecti. Is a small city. Um, um, okay. I, um, okay. The street. Um, go out to my house. <laughs> and turn left and go straight. No, no, sorry. Yes, turn left and go straight ahead. The, the police station, but turn left and um, turn no turn left. Per, permítame, estoy ubicándome. Es que no no lo traduje. There. Turn left and down to the street. Um, uh, different places and uh, store and uh, hardware store. Um, and go straight ahead at the shirt in front uh, across the street and the shirt is the central part across the street across the street the central part is the city hall and turn um pardon um Turn to the right um, is the school. Um, es todo. Yo creo que los perdí. Pero estaba tratando de acordarme. Oh, okay, Jonathan. Okay. Pero yeah. And other places more. No, the <laughs> thing is that the thing is that you have forgotten. Not only you, but but I I have heard so many people who forgot about the expression. There is and there are right. That's why you are like hesitating. There is a pond in my house. Then uh, crossing the street, you the will corner. find out. 
a pupusería there or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. There is, um, there are. Um, three pupuserias. <laughs> there are three pupuserias there. And one Mexican food. And there is a Mex Mexican food restaurant. Um, yes, next to a uh, city hall. Next to the city hall. Yes. Okay. Okay. But try to remember about it. Okay. Thank you, Joshua. I think we have uh, Juan Fernando. Go ahead. After Juan. After Fernando, we're gonna we're gonna listen to Merlin. After Merlin, Michael. Okay, teacher. Right? Right. Uh, my city is Merlin City. Uh, the neighbor I live in the East Garden of the Savannah. Uh, Merlin Town is small, but it has very important place. Taking a streak A to the left, we reach the end of Avenue A. On the right and final, the Polideportivo Merliot uh, in this. Also, also on the Shultipan Street coming down from my home, we find the shopping center, Plaza Merliot. Also, Always on the Shultipan Street, somewhere the beginning we can reach other shopping center, Gran Villa and Mall Soho, where two important hotels are located, Marriott and Hyatt. Also, if we go on the avenue to Ogbar, we find two Echo Park Bokerong. That's all, teacher. Very good, Fernando. That was really nice. Thank you. Merlin? Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Are you ready? Mm, yes. Um, okay. I I want to presentation a map. Good, go ahead. So that was, I was expecting actually to see the, the different maps. The Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ah, good idea, right? <laughs> that was a good idea. Um, um, I live in, in, in Santa Ana City. Um, my house is located in this red point, you you are look. Yes, are we can see it. We can see it. Okay. Um. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Um. Every day, uh, I want to to my job, I walk about 10 meters. Uh, I drove this, this line, I, I, I look, you, you look, are you look? Yeah, we can see the map, Merlin, don't worry. Um, Es que estoy dibujando una línea roja, <laughs> pero no sé si la ve. <laughs> Let me no. Actually, I don't see it. No, I don't see it, Merlin. Uh, voy a presentarlo. <laughs> no, I don't know if if I am the only one, but I don't see anything. Use your there. imagination, teacher. Huh? Use your imagination. Uh, oh, all right, so. <laughs> Uh, that that changes okay now now it changes now i can see it um go, um go ahead merlin uh i walk about 
ten meters, uh, then door left, door left, um, and go straight ahead uh, about two block, um, and 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 um, I walk uh, a la entrada uh, yo camino a la entrada finalmente I finally oh. get to the entrance uh, I finally uh, only that teacher oh, only that thank you very much thank you okay, you are very very creative Thank you, Merlin. Solo que no sé cómo dejar de presentar, teacher. Vamos Don't a ver. Don't worry, I think I can help you. Ah, ya, ya encontré. Thank you. Thank you, very kind. So, Michael, you... Now you have a good opportunity. After Michael, Norma. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, I try to to give the direction. <laughs> and the center of the city stay my house. And from my house is the banks. The bank in the same block around the corner from is the post office and as well behind the behind the church of the town on the left across on the left across the street is the hospital and the between the firehouse and the uh, school is the supermarket and to the right is the is also have a big park and that is teacher okay now i continue like uh seeing the same the same me for right that you are you you forget or you forgot to use there is and there are there is and there are nearby next to in front of between but there is, there is and there are. Remember about that expression. Okay, okay. Norma, are you ready? After Norma, we're gonna see Veralis, Yancy and Mario Cristobal, and we finish. So I think Norma, Norma, are you there? Veralis? Chansey? Cristobal. Well, if there are no more participants, so let us let us see this info then. I will share something. Okay. Yeah, it's over here. Okay, now. You're going to you're going to write down people. You're going to write down. Excuse me. Aha. Uh -huh. What did he say? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you tell me the way to the bank? Aha. Uh -huh. What is the question? Which um, told me about the bank. Mm. About. Tell me the way. Listen once again. Excuse me. Can you tell me the way to the bank? What did you listen you to? The to the park? Excellent. Okay. Can you tell me the way to the bank? Okay, listen. Yes, sure. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. 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 Turn left at the end of this street. Uh huh. Turn. Turn left to the street. Listen once again. Sure. Turn left at the end of this street. Uh -huh. Turn left at the end of the street. Of the street. Okay. At the traffic lights. Uh -huh. Traf traffic oh, light. Traffic light. Yes. Then go as far as the roundabout. Uh huh. Yes. Listen once again. Yes. Then go as far as the roundabout. Just as far. Um, no, no idea. No idea. No idea. Roundabout. Now, I think it's better if we listen to it fully. Lo vamos a escuchar todo y ahí luego vamos a ver cómo vamos este, repitiendo. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the bank? Yes, sure. Turn left at the end of this street. At the traffic lights. Yes, then go as far as the roundabout. And at the roundabout? Turn right at the roundabout into D Road. Okay, right at the roundabout. Go down D Road, the bank's on the left. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, so we're going to try once again. Excuse me. Uh-huh. Excuse me? Simple, right? Excuse Can me. Can you tell me the way to the bank? Okay. Can you tell me the way to the bank? Good. Can you tell me the way to the bank? Yes, sure. Turn left at the end of this street. Yes, sure. Turn left at the end to the street. Okay, good. At the traffic lights. Um, a traffic light. The traffic lights. Yes. Traffic light. Yes, said the lady. Then go as far as the roundabout. Okay, it's a far. Um, Lo último no lo no lo alcanzo a entender. Listen, 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 once again. listen, listen. Yes. Then go as far as the roundabout. Then go around the block. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, don't worry. We're gonna see it later. <laughs> and at the roundabout. Once again. And at the roundabout. And that's around the, around the park, around the bank. Okay, keep it in mind because later we're going to see the script. Listen. Turn right at the roundabout into. Uh huh, directions. Turn right. Listen. Turn right at the roundabout into D Road. No idea. No idea. Okay. <laughs> right at the roundabout. Go down D Road. The bank's on the left. Okay. Now, I think I, I will show the info, as you know, it's because because of the time. And also, we share the link. Now, yes, I will share it with you. Okay. I was supposed to, we were supposed to do a different activity, but, you know, I, I just saw my watch. And I can see that we do not have enough time. So we're going to see it. Show you. Yeah. And we have this. Now, can you read it, people? Oops. Give me a second. Give me a second. Now, yes. Excuse me. Can you tell me the way to the bank? Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the bank? And then? Yes, sure. Sure, turn left sure. The of the street. Turn left at the end of the street. At the traffic lights? At the traffic lights? Yes. Then go as far as the roundabout. Okay, um, yes, then go as far as the roundabout. And oh, then? Put the little 
What about this one? Runabout. And the runabout. Are there uh, and are they right about? And, it, uh, and what do you say? All right, are they run about into the road? Into the road. Okay. Over here? Yeah. Right at the roundabout. Right at the down. Roundabout. Okay. Right the roundabout. Or down the road, the banks of the left. It's on the left. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so this is very simple. We're not going to work in pairs, you know, because uh, tomorrow we're going to continue with this topic because it's kind of interesting, right? It is really good. To ask for and to give directions. Right, listen to yeah, so I will share this. Le voy, le voy a compartir estos ejercicios para que los puedan desarrollar. Bookstore. There you go, the first. Bus station, school, bus station, supermarket. The other one is this one. Okay, now I can see everybody is connected. Okay, now over here, you are the next. And if you have found the information on how to give directions in, in English, now take a look at this. Oh, oh, this one, no, no, no. One. All right, and I think, well, we have been uh, working during uh, almost two hours, right? So right now, I think it would be really nice if we stop and you finish at home. But what are you going to do now? Todos, por favor, vayan. A la plataforma. Y trabajenme, por favor, en la última semana. Ahí se van a encontrar the final test. Aquí está, the final test. So in the final test, do me the favor to complete the... Yesterday you completed the first part. Now complete the second part. Ok, tratemos de completar el final test. Recordemos que... Esta semana terminamos con el módulo 3. So voy a esperar que 10 minutos voy a estar revisando la plataforma a ver quiénes son los que ya lograron terminar. ¿Ok? Okay, work in the platform. I will check your results.
Okay, everybody go to the platform and let us try to work in every single exercise there, please. Now, when you finish, let me know it, please, so that I can I can see the info there in the platform.
Okay, hope everybody is working in the platform, especially in the last week. Activities and the final test. And if you have, if you if you haven't finished previous activities, now you have the opportunity. Remember that the day after tomorrow we're gonna finish with this. Okay, hey, let me know when you finish, please. So we're almost done with the, with the activity for tonight. Like giving directions, so it's something that we had already studied before. Okay, so, but I included some extra, extra practice for you to, for you to continue um, improving your English. Well, now for tomorrow, we're going to study like two expressions. And those expressions are go and get. Go and get. Okay, investigate about the verbs. Go and get. So that's for tomorrow. All right, so I think it's better, right? So you have the homework for tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, class the same way I did it because I could notice that you were using a lot of vocabulary, providing information on how to get some word, et cetera, right? So I think uh, we took advantage of time. It's uh, almost time to say goodbye. And I don't know if you have something to tell everybody here or to say everybody here. I highly recommend you to finish the activities in the platform. 
So you should you should check that you, you got like 80%, 90% or 100%. We're looking for a, getting the best grade from you. Is there any question, any comment? Questions or comments? Seiran, Michael, Daniel, Ronan, Cristobal, Juan, Merlin? No question. No, no question, question right? So. Hi. Michael? Yes, teacher, en la, en la cuatro no, no, no me lo acepto. Ah, so you, you continue facing problems with number four, okay? So give me a second, Michael. Number, is it number four, right? It's the seventeen. That's, yeah, man. That's no, seventeen. For it. Now, you can, as you can see, I have your grades here. I was just checking what you've done. Let's see, Michael. Because I, I don't get the one that you that you say. So it's in the final, right? So this is part two. Which part did you mention? Michael, part one, part two, part three. Hello? Hello, hello. Eh, the la 17, profe. 17. Yes, in the homework. Ah, so you're not talking about the final test. Ah, no, no. <laughs> uh, I thought you were talking about final test. Mm. So you're talking about the activities, the homework assignments in the platform. Number 17. 15, 15. Number 16, 17. 17. This one is the one, right? So, Michael? Yes. Number, number five. Is it number five? Number four, 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 four. Uh, number four. A picnic next Tuesday. You want it's, Michael? Is this saying that the, yesterday I say you? Yeah, there's the one that you mentioned. What which is the correct one? Uh very nice. You are going to Teacher, you lo usé con, you are going to have. have. Sí, es que tiene que poner así la palabra completa. You are going to have. Ah, exactly. Porque solo así la, la permite el sistema. Look, Michael, you are going to have. Have. So you see the answer, right? So there is no other one but this one. So uh, now, for example, you see over here. Uh, maybe, I don't know if you contracted the expression. Mm -hmm. You're going, maybe you, you type you're going and you need it to type it with no contraction. Okay. Can you see it, Michael? Uh, Hi, it's, <laughs> it's over here, right? Why, teacher? Hello, hello. Uh, why? Uh, well, it's because it was it was designed that way. I mean, you can do it in the contractive form. Yo ya les enseñé que lo podemos hacer así de manera contractada. Pero en la plataforma solo lo han diseñado para que se haga de una manera. Mm -hmm. Okay, ese es, el, ese es el problema. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. We're, we're with the subject. Yeah, no, with without the subject. Because without you have the it. subject here, right? Sí, teacher, pero mm. en esa específicamente tiene que poner el sujeto porque si no, no la agarra. Es lo que mencionábamos ah. ayer. Ajá, tiene que ponerla así completa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is, there is a problem <laughs> there, right? Yeah. 
Ya, y hasta me... Que, por eso a mí no me da tan bien ayer, porque... Hasta me estaba era. echando humo a la cabeza y no le daba. Yo solo ponía algo y tú. Ajá, ah, tiene que ser okay. el objetivo algo Sí, Entonces es, ah. va a aparecer dos veces you. Ajá, Ajá. correcto. Ok. You, you. Que dos veces you, va a ser la acción, quizá. You, you, uh, you, you are going. Ok, so, but that, that's a, a, a problem with the platform, ok? So fortunately, Berenice got it right because no, I didn't. No. I, I I haven't I hadn't I hadn't eh, noticed about it. Yo sé, yo realmente no me había dado cuenta. Dos puntos okay. para todos. Que estuvimos ahí peleando, batallando ayer. <risa> dos, dos puntos para por la plataforma. <risa> ayer es que él nos dijo que nos iba a ver cómo, cuál era el problema. No. Pero... Sí, ¿Y se quién me, lo se descubrió? Berenice, I think. Ah, Berenice, cuatro puntos. <laughs> <laughs> so you got it, right? Uh, it's been a pleasure for me to be with you once again. <laughs> La verdad que pues me llena de satisfacción verlos todavía. Tal parece que pues ya pronto se termina esto y, y a ver qué pasa, ¿verdad? Si nos continuamos viendo o o si hay algún cambio, no sabemos. Uh -huh. Pero, mientras tanto, todavía nos quedan dos sesiones y hay que sacarle provecho. Eh, la tarea que les dejo es que investiguen sobre el verbo go y get. ¿Ok? Go y get. Recuérdense que ahora estuvimos estudiando la, la, cómo dar eh, indicaciones para llegar a algún lugar. ¿Ok? Y si ustedes se fijan, eh, hay una pregunta en donde le, le, se le hace a, a alguien, eh, how can I get to? How can I get? Ah, entonces ahí está el verbo get, por ahí va el asunto, ¿ok? Así que mañana lo, nos vemos primero, Dios. Espero que descansen y que estudien. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night.